What's going on, conquistadors? Welcome back to Round Like Me with Scotty, the Chunky Spaniard, and happy Halloween! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it is time for a Tunes on a Tuesday. It's a double whammy. We got Halloween, and we got Tunes on a Tuesday, and it's game six of the World Series. Oh my gosh. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, the World Series this year is between the LA Dodgers and the Houston Astros, two West Coast teams. And it has been a slug fest, like super thrilling baseball. Even if you're not a baseball fan, playoff baseball is pretty much the best baseball. And this World Series has been one of the best World Series I've ever seen. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk about sports, even though I'd love to. I'm here to talk about music, because it is Tunes on a Tuesday, the day the music was supposed to be released. And because it is Halloween, I figured what better opportunity than to talk about my favorite Halloween song of all time. And it just kind of happens to be like the number one selling album of all time. That's right, if you got it from just the shirt, my Johnny Cupcakes, Michael Jackson shirt, I'm talking about Thriller. Yes, Thriller the album. And I have the CD version. Um, it's also the gold CD version. Ooh, yeah. Special edition. Um, Thriller is my favorite Halloween song of all time. I, it, it trumps every other song. And I think it's because of the time period when it came out. Michael Jackson is one of my favorite artists of all time. I mean, top, 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 top artists of all time. What's interesting to me is PYT was in the most recent Adults Try Not to Sing, and a lot of people were kind of responding saying that they weren't huge fans of Michael Jackson, which I find shocking. Um, not that I'm saying people's taste is bad, I'm just saying I find it shocking, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, but we're going to do some story time as well. <laughs> And then we'll get into the album. Um, but Michael Jackson, I grew up listening to the Jackson 5 and oldies and, and things like that and always loved the Jackson 5. And then in the 80s, and see, I was a baby, like late 70s. Um, so I didn't know of Michael Jackson's 70s career, his solo 70s career. But in the 80s, Michael Jackson was and is the king of pop. He was everywhere, everywhere. The Jackson 5 even did a reunion tour and a friend of my dad's went and got me, went to the concert and got me one of the Jackson 5 t-shirts. I think I wore that thing pretty much every day that my mom would let me, unless she was doing laundry. It was an everyday shirt. It had the Jackson 5 on there, it had Michael with his sparkly glove. I mean, they even had Michael Jackson in the book order. And if you don't know what a book order is, in elementary school classes, and they have it for, for junior high and high school if the teachers want to, but no one really does, because I don't know if people actually buy books a whole lot. I still prefer having books. But you would send off this form and order books that you would want. So like for me, it was Calvin and Hobbes. Um, I like to read some Hardy Boys every once in a while. Heathcliff, I loved Heathcliff. He was a cat. Uh, there were a lot of cats, like Garfield and Heathcliff, and they were kind of like rivals. Um, it's kind of like Starbucks and Diedrich's Coffee down south. Um, but I remember sending off, at begging my parents. I was in kindergarten. Loved Michael Jackson as a kindergartner. Wanted the sparkly glove. My parents wouldn't get it from the book order from me. But they, what they did get me was the thriller book, picture book from the video. Did not realize it was going to terrify me for years to come. <laughs> but this is how much I love Michael Jackson. We, in elementary school, break dancing was really big. It was really, really popular. And me, dressed poorly in my little like polo shirts and corduroy pants, the kind that zipped when you ran, I would get off the bus as a kindergartner and run to the foyer of the cafeteria where the eighth graders, we had K through eight at my school when I first started, they would be break dancing on cardboard and I would zip over there, zip, 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 zip. me and my friends would go over there and I would watch the break dancers. And then when I'd get home, I'd take off my shoes 
and practice moonwalking on linoleum because I thought I was so good. I practiced moonwalking every day until I was like so smooth. I'm like, I can't do it now because I haven't practiced probably since I was in kindergarten or in first grade. But Michael Jackson, there was something just captivating about him and in his music, it, there's just something about Michael Jackson's music that grips your heart, it grips your soul. Even if you can't dance like me, it makes you want to move. There's just something about it that makes you want to move. Ah, oh, the way you make me feel, Michael. It's not on Thriller, but such a good song. Oh my gosh. Gotta take a breath, because I'm running out of air. But Michael Jackson, iconic, iconic, iconic. And then started seeing Michael Jackson videos, and even more iconic. So, the other thing that I feel Michael Jackson does is it brings people together. Honestly, Michael Jackson's music still brings people together. The one thing that my junior hires and I can always agree upon is Michael Jackson. I will play music, I'll be playing Pearl Jam, I'll be playing 80s, I will play all sorts of genres of music for my students while they work. And they'll always ask, like, can you play something current? Oh my gosh, that is song is so old. And it came out like a month ago. Um, but the one thing we can always agree upon is Michael Jackson. And even kids that don't normally, like, speak up, they're sitting there just kind of like, oh. Yeah, they're bobbing their heads. They're grooving. You see that smile on their face? Like, I know this song. I know this song. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So let's talk about Thriller. My favorite... Halloween song ever. Now, Thriller, if you haven't checked this album out, and if you haven't, I don't know what is going on with you, really. But wait till you hear the songs that are on Thriller. The very first track. Yeah, wanna be starting something. Said you wanna be starting something. You got to be starting something. Said you wanna be starting something. Oh my gosh. Really? And Michael Jackson, side note, how does he get away with Mama Say Mama Sa Mama Kusa and Shamaun? The guy is speaking nonsense and people are like, yeah, uh, yeah, he, wow, right? I mean, like, he would scream. He, maybe he was the first screamo artist. When he's breaking car windows, he's like, help, help. And he's breaking, <laughs> he's shattering windows. I don't know. Maybe that's where Screamo got their, their, their initial sound from, like their inspiration <laughs> for their music. But track number one, Wanna Be Starting Something. Track two, Baby Be Mine. Eh, it's okay for me. Track three, The Girl Is Mine. And most notably, <laughs> because it has Paul McCartney on it. Uh, yeah, King of Pop. Hey, boys from Liverpool. Can I, can I get that, that lefty bass player to be on my album? Yeah? Paul? Sir Paul? Yes, I'd love to be on the album. It would be great, Michael. Let's do a song together. Right? Oh my gosh. And then all of a sudden, it's like, we're going to start you off with Wanna Be Starting Something. Let you know what this album's about. And then Baby Be Mine, Girl Is Mine. And then Girl Is Mine is all kind of like, ah, da, da. And you're like, okay, okay. And then all of a sudden it happens, the creaking door. And the footsteps. The howl. Oh, boom. And it's building. Oh, you just feel it. I've got chills right now just thinking about it. And then the bass line. Quincy Jones, genius. Okay, and let's talk about this video. Thriller the video. It was a movie. Michael Jackson never did anything small. He always went huge. And he did an entire movie where he turns into a werewolf and a zombie and dances like, like only Michael Jackson can. It is unreal to the point where people still know the thriller dance i mean it was in 30 13 going on 30 i think that jennifer garner movie 
But like even something as simple as like a little zombie like shoulder. <laughs> and have you ever played Michael Jackson Experience? Yeah, that we there's an old video way back on my YouTube page of uh, Lucy when she got back from the hospital the second time. That was kind of her at home physical therapy. She loved Michael Jackson and she loved trying to dance to the Michael Jackson experience. And we still love that. It's there's just something about Michael Jackson. Oh, it just spans generations. Doesn't matter how old you are, Michael Jackson hits you right there. Right there. So after Thriller and then the amazing Vincent Price. Vincent Price is a horror movie legend. That voice, even his appearance, there's always something. He was even on The Muppet Show. Vincent Price was on The Muppet Show. That's how cool he was. That laugh, <laughs> and not going to do it justice, but it's Vincent Price. I mean, pulling out the big guns for this. Best song for Halloween. Might be one of my, I don't know, I want to say, I don't want to fully commit to saying it's my favorite Michael Jackson song. Because there's so many. <laughs> but it's one of my favorites. And that book that I got from the book order, back to the book order, it had pictures of the zombies and the werewolves and all that kind of stuff. Nightmares. I pretended, I played it off. My parents are like, is that too scary for him? I'm like, no. This little kindergartner. I'm like, no, I'm good, ma'am. It's fine. It's really good. I love this. I love Michael Jackson. And, um, yeah, terrified. I was terrified. Oh, but I wanted that glove so bad. Oh, my gosh. I wanted that sequin glove. But after Thriller on the album goes Beat It. So we go from one amazing red leather jacket to another amazing red leather jacket in the video. And Beat It. Trivia, who did the initial guitar solo? If you guessed Eddie Van Halen, you are correct. Some people are like, who's Eddie Van Halen? Shame on you. Fall Out Boy's covered Beat It. Who played the guitar solo on that one? John Mayer. And who played Beat It live and played the guitar with Michael Jackson years right before he passed? That's right, my man. This guy right here, Slash. Slash. So think of those guitarists, okay? And you may not be the biggest John Mayer fan, but give the dude respect, because he shreds. He's amazing. Eddie Van Halen, John Mayer, and this man right here? Yeah, Slash, okay? Oh my gosh, so good! Okay, beat it. And the gang fight, the little like kind of West Side Story-ish thing. What's so funny is Michael Jackson's in his bed and he's got this little keyboard t-shirt on with red pants. And then there's this whole gang fight that goes on. Why are you going to go try and break up a gang fight when you got a keyboard on your shirt? I don't know, but he's Michael Jackson, so maybe he thought music can, can heal the wounds of a gang-related war. <laughs> I don't know. And then Billy Jean. Another, oh my gosh, I think Beat It was, while it was so guitar driven, Thriller and Billie Jean, the bass lines in those songs, oh, it's so funk driven. And then that video with the creepy, when Michael Jackson's like disappearing and turning into a tiger, and just when he's walking down the street and it's lighting up and everything he touches lights up. And even as a little kid, I'm like, Billie Jean's not my lover. I don't know what that means, but hey, she says I'm not the one. And the kid isn't my son, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to dance. Oh, oh my gosh. This album right there, just that chunk right there is a greatest hits album. Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean. But he's not done yet because then he's going to punch you right in the face with the emotions of human nature, and you can hear it in your head right now. Looking out. Oh, man. Another amazing song, and not as dancey and upbeat, but one of those songs kind of like Man in the Mirror that is a punch to the gut, and you're just like, yeah, tell me why. Tell them that it's human nature. Why? 
why don't they do me that way? And you're just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know who's doing it that way, Michael, but I don't like them because it's not right. It's not right, Mike. It's not. And then, PYT. Okay, let's recap just for a second. It goes, when you start track four, Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, PYT. Oh, so he, he must be feeling pretty good after the Human Nature because, I mean, he wants to love you. PYT, pretty young thing. Oh, and then Lady in My Life. It's an okay track. It's a But who has that many hits on one album? And not a greatest hits album, just an album. Just a regular, regular old Michael album. You know, he's looking all slick in his white suit and stuff. He's just laying there, he's like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> so disrespectful. So disrespectful. But that's okay, because I love you, Michael. And I loved your music, and love your music. And, like, one of the, I don't know. I mean, there's just something so soulful. He's one of those once-in-a-lifetime musicians that comes along, and you're just like, how can you be that good? How? Your inspiration, where did this come from? If I could just have a little sliver of that talent. I mean, and then there's the sweet little picture from the Thriller you know, video right there. Oh, the dude could dance, the dude could sing. I just, oh, I'm in awe. I'm still in awe. This many years later, I was in awe as a kindergartner, and this many years later, I'm still in awe of Michael Jackson. That is the true sign of an icon. That's, that's, all, I got, that's all I gotta say. He was amazing. And um, his music lives on, and it's still bringing people together to this day. If it can bring junior hires to the same level as me, the old man up front with the beard, then you know Michael did something right. Because, like, they're all sitting there like, yeah, play that. Oh, play that. We'll bust out. I bust out the number ones. And then it's all over after that. Because we're going to talk about Michael again later on. Like, on, on a, in a day when we need to feel good, because there's some other, I mean, obviously, other favorite songs. But my number one pick for this Tunes on a Tuesday, it's only one album, and it's more than enough. Okay, more than enough. On this Halloween, October 31st, 2017, Thriller. Thriller, Thriller, Thriller. The number one selling album, okay, all time. And my favorite Halloween song of all time. Because creepy as heck and funky as heck. Creepy and funky. So good. So, go get Thriller. And go get the album. Like, seriously, buy the album. Did you need me to read it again? I hope not. Because I can read off the list of songs again. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. These were all on one album? Yeah. All one album. Michael Jackson. The man. The guy on my shirt with an oven mitt, because Johnny Cupcakes, but he had the moves, he had the music, he was the man, the king of pop, Michael Jackson. And that's it for this Tunes on a Tuesday. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope you go back and listen to some Michael on this day. And you could pretty much listen to Michael every day and just be, just smile. Okay, just bob. Or like Nick Hexum from 311 would say, nod your head to this, mmm, right? Just, you want to feel good, listen to some Michael Jackson. Pop that in the CD player, bring it up on your phone, add it to your Spotify playlist or whatever, or hit Pandora, Michael Jackson Radio. Where, wherever you find music, please listen to Michael Jackson. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one, because I enjoyed it. I love this. People haven't picked up on the fact that Tunes on a Tuesday is amazing. That's okay. I have fun doing them. And those of you that watch, I hope you have fun watching. So remember, conquistadors, to be a better person tomorrow than you were today, because there's always room for improvement. Yeah, it's true. And go out and make this world a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place. Uh-huh, yeah, see that, like that little twist on the reference? Yeah. 
But on this Halloween, go out there, have fun, have a thriller night, and be safe. And uh, I'll see you Thursday for another video. I'm not sure what it's going to be. But take care. I'll see you later. I'm, I'm actually going to go listen to some Michael Jackson right now because even though I've been listening to it nonstop, I'm going to go listen to some more because, oh my gosh, yeah, it takes me back and just, I want to go moonwalk. Practice some moonwalking this week. See you later. Take care. Bye.